So today, something really pissed me off. I was minding my own business on YouTube, researching what I should make my next video on, when I came across a video on Tribulus. The supplement does have some crazy benefits, but I'll get to that later. Because this specific guy's video was so full of misinformation that I realized I had to address it. This video, which ranks really high, was basically created to sell the guy's supplements, and is claiming that studies have shown things which they haven't. For the Red Dead Redemption fans out there, think 21st century Nigel West Dickens. Friends, hard-working souls, cures, headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, back in This guy is going on and on, saying how studies show tribulus raises luteinizing hormone. The comment section was the worst part because people are buying this hook, line, and sinker. After seeing that, I knew I had to clear some stuff up because if there's one thing that really upsets me is when people try to trick others to make a fast buck. So now for the truth. Testosterone, the male hormone. Without it, making gains is next to impossible. They've done studies where they've had guys work out, but given them a drug to suppress their testosterone and they've made no strength gains. Testosterone is important. Some guys have low testosterone and some guys are within the normal range. Then there is a third group, the guys who inject testosterone and get levels significantly higher. This is because testosterone is so important in putting on muscle. So it makes sense that the idea of a supplement that could enhance testosterone gets people excited. Tribulus terrestris is a legal herb which grows in China, Eastern Asia, and extends into Western Asia and Southern Europe. The plant's chemical structure varies based off where it's from. But protodiserin, the claimed active ingredient which it's famous for, is highest in Bulgarian tribulus. Tribulus terrestris is also referred to as gokshara in India and is used in traditional medicine. So does it increase your testosterone? It depends. Kidding. So far, all the studies confirm that it doesn't raise it if you are at normal levels already. The only studies that have shown that it increases testosterone are in people with testosterone that was already low and who were facing problems with low sex drive and ED. In studies on these men, testosterone sometimes rises, but not enough to be statistically significant. And here's the thing, if you are already at normal levels, a slight increase wouldn't really help you get additional gains. You need to go significantly above regular levels to get that. Let's look at this peer-reviewed study. They took Bulgarian Tribulus terrestris, purchased from a company approved by the Bulgarian Ministry of Public Health, and they confirmed that the active steroid sapiens, the protodiserin, made up more than 60% of the dry weight. So this is the good stuff in other words. No impact on testosterone, none on luteinizing hormone, and none on any of the other hormones they were testing for. But what does it do? Is it just all hype? Well, there's a lot of evidence that it will actually raise your libido and the quality of your erections. Scientists gave it to fertile wild boars and saw an increase in mounting behavior by 20% and an increase in the volume of certain uh, fluids. In one other study, they gave normal rats Viagra and Tribulus and found that both groups saw a nearly identical increase in um, certain activities. What about in humans though? In a study on men with low sperm count, supplementation of 6 grams of tribulus root was associated with a significantly greater self-reported improvement in sexual health. In another study, persons with a low sperm count given 6 grams of tribulus root daily for 2 months saw significant improvements in... Well, just trust me, there were improvements. You can look it up if you want. Why does it do this, though? Well, it looks like the high protodiserin tribulus from Bulgaria doesn't increase overall testosterone levels, but it does increase the sensitivity of those receptors in the brain. At least that's the theory scientists have right now. So although it won't increase your gains or power output, the studies say that you might see gains in other places. Having taken it before, I can confirm this, but the key is that you could hopefully channel that energy to something more productive. Remember to always do your research. There are a lot of people out there who are going to try and trick you, so it's up to us to stay smarter than them. And as always, subscribe for more. Until next time, D-Man, signing off.